Hi everyone, going live in just a moment. Looks like I got a funny thumbnail up there. I'll just be a minute. This link. I'm going to do a quick checklist on getting ready for the Cardano snapshot tomorrow just to get uh, anyone else who has last minute questions. If I can help or if anyone else in the chat can help, feel free to pitch in. I'll just drop this link in Cardano official. And of course it shows the map. <laughs> Okay, so I'll get started here. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm glad you could uh, come over here to the Digital Fortress. And that's Happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the world. And everybody has something to be grateful for. This is going to be a uh, review of the frequently asked questions and first of all, checklist. So for tomorrow, for November 29th, the snapshot is at 1200 UTC, 1200 universal time. And the to be prepared, you either need to have your ADA, if you want if you want to participate in the testnet uh, rewards, have your ADA on either Daedalus, Yoroi, or Yoroi Mobile. No hardware wallets. It's got to be one of those three, and no hardware wallets. Cannot be Trezor, cannot be Ledger. That's a quick checklist. I'll review it again at the end if anybody has any questions. Hi, Pennywise. Happy Thanksgiving. Hello, Elite Trance. Good to see you there. I'm going to go over to the frequently asked questions and do a screen share on that. So I won't be able to see your questions right away on the screen, but I will come back to them if you do have questions. So uh, the frequent, frequently asked questions, let me get my screen share up on that. And a lot of people had a lot of questions in Telegram today. So what I wanted to do was get the information out on a live stream and get information out to the YouTubers. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you might not follow in Telegram. Okay, so here's where I'm going. Uh, hopping over to, hopefully you can see that. Check my channel, there's this. Now I'll, I'll be able to see your chat on my tablet, and I can, all right, good deal. Okay, so I have the, oops, I pulled that tab out. Okay, so I have the staking.cardano.org website up here. There's a really good fact on this webpage. So if you have questions, Go to staking.cardano.org. That's where you also download the testnet wallets from. Again, the only thing you need to do to prepare for tomorrow is have your ADA on Daedalus, Yoroi, or Yoroi Mobile, and not on a hardware wallet if you want to participate in the testnet. So I'm going to scroll down. Right now, I'm on the website staking.cardano.org. I'm going to scroll down to this tab. This is where you want to go. Delegate your stake. This is where there's a lot of good questions hit that button then scroll all the way down to the frequently asked questions there's a fact down here really good fact kind of well hidden so <laughs> uh, first question what is a stake pool and this explains what the stake pools are currently you have stake pool operators out there on the test net they're doing a lot of hard work they're all volunteers so thank you to all the volunteers out there many thanks this Thanksgiving for all the hard work they are putting in massive numbers of hours talent skill and perseverance to keep the test net rolling and they're working out the bugs. Uh, it's just how it is. They're working out the, it's global test net, so you're gonna have bugs. So they're working that out. So the first question to fact, what is a stake pool and explains it. Most of the folks who frequent visit Digital Fortress, you, got, you already know what a stake pool is. It's like a mining pool, but the miner instead of proof of work is proof of stake. Uh, looks like there's some questions coming in. I will get to that. Uh, oh, question. 1200 UTC, is that 7 a.m. EST? Well, check the global map. I think it's, uh, I think it is. I think we're at minus five on Eastern Standard Time, Eastern Standard Time. 1200 UTC, check the map, or check the universal time to make sure you got that. Uh, I believe it is minus five, but daylight saving times messed me up. So the second question, will I be able to spend my mainnet ADA normally? Yes. Mainnet ADA will not be affected by the incentivized testnet. After the balance snapshot, ADA owned on the mainnet can be spent and exchanged freely. So imagine it like this. There will be two instances of your ADA, and they exist in parallel, and they exist in separate universes. You have your mainnet ADA that can do whatever it wants on the mainnet, and then you have your testnet ADA 
that exists on the test net. They both exist simultaneously, but they can never cross over. It is impossible. They cannot cross over, okay? So you will create your wallet on the main net. Then when the snapshot's taken, the snapshot information is transferred over to the test net, and it will also exist on the test net. And that's how it works. I hope I explained that simple. That's what I try to do here at Digital Fortress. Okay. Uh, let's see. So you can see this fact is really good. Staking.cardano.org, and then go to Wallet, then scroll down to the fact. Next question. Will I be able to redelegate my stake to another pool? And the answer is yes, you will be able to. We currently are able to do that on the test net. That technology is there, and it is tested, and it works. The only t uh, technology we haven't tested on the test net yet is the multi-delegation where one person or one wallet delegates to multiple pools. That is not being tested yet. We are not there yet. There is technology in there to support it. However, I've not done it successfully, but the answer is yes. You will be able to redelegate your stake to another pool. Uh, I'll check questions over here in just a bit. Thank you all for dialing in. Uh, the next question, will I be able to dig delegate to more than one pool? Yes, to delegate to multiple stake pools, you will need to create separate wallets. Okay, so currently, if I have you know, 100 ADA, I split it into two wallets, 50 and 50. One wallet I delegate to one pool, another one I delegate to a different pool. Currently, we are able to do that, and we do that on the test net. I've tested it, and that works. And so have many other 200 or more volunteer uh, stake pool operators out there have been testing this technology, and it is effective. Again, it's not the one wallet to multiple pools. That technology is not fully uh, enabled yet, but I won't be surprised if it doesn't take very long. The key is you can delegate to multiple pools, simply make multiple wallets to do it. And that will be on the testnet version of wallet. Next question, will I be able to run a private stake pool? Yes, you can run a private stake pool. You can uh, delegate to yourself. Uh, it says, yes, this will be technically possible. It can be achieved by registering a stake pool and setting the profit margins to 100% so that any uh, anybody that delegates to your stake pool will not receive any rewards. This will disincentivize delegators from delegating to your pool, but provide you with the ability to stake your ADA and singly reap the rewards while testing your stake pool operations. So basically, I guess you delegate your own ADA to yourself. I misunderstood that question at first. Will I be able to run a private stake pool? Yes. Okay. How much money will I be able to make? This is a really good question. There's a calculator coming out that is going to be on, on this website. Uh, and they say, we're working on a rewards calculator right now, which will help you calculate approximate returns for delegation. The calculator will produce an estimate for rewards, not a definitive amount. Over the course of the incentivized test net, we will likely test different parameters that may affect reward margins. Amounts calculated are therefore subject to change. This is a very important statement. That's why I wanted to bring this one up here, is the amount delegated must be tested. Uh, and How much is delegated and what the rewards and returns are and how it impacts participation. There is a paper by Professor Agalos Kiyas and others on the iohk.io website under library, and it talks about the reward schemes. So check out that paper if you want more information. But it is very important to get the right setting. I mean, this is no longer theoretical. This is real. So there's no, oh, well, we'll follow some type of economic model or something or other. We need precise numbers. So we're going to test certain numbers and see what happens, then test other numbers and find the right numbers so that when the, your ADA goes on the main net, that it works. Okay, so these problems are going to be solved on the test net before they move to the main net. All right, I'll check questions real quick. Anyone got any questions, let me know in the chat, and I'll come back to it again at the end. Uh, let's see, I missed the first one. Question, will your pool be up tomorrow? No, no, uh, the Elite Trance. My pool will not be up tomorrow, not for the test net. I have a pool up. I have three pools running right now for testing. I got one main pool that I use for testing and for self-training, and I got two other pools that I use to practice the multi-pool delegation, and I also have multiple addresses and wallets. So 
That's what all of the pool operators are doing. There are many very proficient pool operators out there. So my pool is up and running, but it's not the digital fortress proper. There will, I'll have to recreate, all the pool operators will have to recreate new certificates in order to generate the final snapshot pools that will be running on the test net. Okay, so my pool's not up yet tomorrow. Uh, let's see the time. I'll check the time again. I'll check the time at the end of the podcast or at the end of this uh, live stream. Okay, um, people are asking about the time. Uh, I already did mine. So if you do it right away, that's why I was doing this uh, frequently asked questions for tomorrow. So let me get to the next one. How should I choose a stake pool? And this goes into the points of the highest uptime and the best return on investment. Okay, so it says the incentivized test net daily swap will feature a list of all participating stake pools directly via the UI, while your ROI will say show the same function on the size of blockchain explorer. They're going to be tagged from what I've seen on the notional diagrams with green, yellow, and red, with green being the pools with the highest uptime or the highest desirability factor. And then the desirability factor is broken down into uptime and that they're not beyond saturation. And there'll be other metrics being looked at and explored. Those also have to be tested on testnet. The next question is, what wallets are supported and where do I find them? I did that one first. It's Yoroi and Daedalus and Yoroi Mobile, and that's it. And not on hardware, and this goes into detail to explain the incentivized testnet version, but for tomorrow, focus on tomorrow to make sure you're ready, and that is make sure it is on mainnet, Yoroi Daedalus, Yoroi Mobile. Okay, what's the difference between a balance wallet and a rewards wallet? The balance wallet is when you first move it over, it uses the current address scheme then when you move it to the rewards wallet, it goes into the new address scheme that will work on the rewards uh, program. So once the wallets are moved, or once the wallets are created on the test net and your ADA comes into existence on the test net, you need to move it from the original wallet where you plug in your seed phrase and you need to move it to the rewards wallet, which contains the new scheme of the wallet addresses so that the rewards will work, okay? So make sure you read up more on here. Uh, there we go. Any other questions in there, let me know. I'm almost done. I'm trying to keep this short. When will I receive my ADA rewards? Both available testnet wallets, Daedalus and Yoroi, will display a total of rewards earned throughout the incentivized testnet. Once the incentivized testnet is over, we'll provide you with a manual procedure to transfer ADA earned to the mainnet, okay? So once we're done with testnet, you will get your ADA rewards. It will be a manual procedure. I anticipated that, I expected it, because you cannot cross from one blockchain to the other the way it's designed, and that's a good thing. It's supposed to work that way. And the last question on here, and I'll wrap it up, and that is, will I be able to delegate my stake using exchange? The answer is no, you will not. You will need to move your funds. If you want to participate, you cannot participate from an exchange. Uh, so you got to have it in Daedalus, Yoroi, Yoroi Mobile prior to the snapshot at 1200 UTC. And I use a 24-hour clock. So right before 1300 and right after 1100. 1200 high noon midday UTC Europe time is when that occurs. Okay, so there are the key questions in the fact. This is a fantastic fact. I'm going to put the link down below so you can review through the, review through the questions on here. I found it in here and I was like, this is gold. And these were the most common questions on Telegram were questions such as this. And we have a link to the top of the website, but then you got to dig and drill down. So I'm almost done here, but happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Let me check any questions in there. Uh, Crypto Addictive, thanks for your time. I appreciate it, Crypto Addictive and the Elite Trance and everybody. Okay, I don't see any questions there. I'm going to wrap this up briefly. Oh, there's some questions, Pennywise. I forgot I have a delay. I've got about a 12-second delay between what I'm saying and what I see. Uh, will a video be put out for the not-so-smart step-by-step? Yes, I'll be doing videos on Digital Fortress, and Philippe will be doing them over on the Philpa channel. Sebastian will be doing them on the 
uh, Emergo channel. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I pulled these up. I wanted to show you. Make sure you check out the Emergo YouTube channel here. They put videos on there. There's a video here, the Cardano Shelly Testnet Euroi Balance Check Tutorial. If you're a Euroi user, please check out that tutorial. It is a very clear and concise tutorial. There's a few other things. What did I have on here? Oh, no, that's just my silly map that, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, that was the main things I wanted to get out there. I'm going to stop the share here. I'm going to check what I got going on. Uh, so if there's no any other questions, I'm going to be wrapping up. But yes, there will be videos put out by all of your favorite YouTubers uh, over here in the Cardano system. So you look forward to it. I will be putting out a video on Digital Fortress. And I just started a web page. I'll put some links down below. Um, DigitalFortress.online is my stake pool. And I started a Telegram channel for tech support. You, you don't have to join it to goof off. You can if you want. But Digital Fortress Online Telegram channel. So I'll put a link to that down below here after the video. And I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving all around the world. Everyone has something to be grateful for. And I'll see you all out there. Good luck with the snapshot and that you're, you're prepared. And if, uh, you do, if you have any further questions for myself or all of the awesome volunteers in the Cardano community, be sure to go to the Cardano official Telegram channel or the Cardano community tech support channel. And there are lots of folks around the world ready to help you out. Y'all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.